And now it's time for our daily arts and culture segment. Uh, let's see what this week has in store for us. And of course, we are joined live in the studio by our Im Yun Hee. Good afternoon to you, Yun Hee. Good afternoon. So this past week, and especially yesterday, we saw some beautiful weather. We did, so, we did. Right? So I took a little trip around Seoul, and I found a photo exhibition. I don't know if you're um, like animals. Do you like animals coming out? Um, you know, uh, um, I think I do um, <laughs> from afar, mm -hmm, but I'm a mm -hmm. little bit afraid to uh, get close with, to them. Mm -hmm. So this photo exhibition is perfect for you. Mm -hmm. um, it shows wild animals in their, in their home ha natural habitat, and so this exhibition was put together to send a message as well. So not only is it fun to look at, but it's very meaningful. So let's take a look. It's easy to forget about them. Sometimes, wild animals feel worlds away. And although it's not the real thing, these crystal clear pictures take us to the homes of animals around the world. But ecosystems everywhere are being threatened, along with the animals who live there. There's a growing need for conservation efforts, and that starts with awareness, which can begin right here in this gallery. When you come to this exhibition, you'll see animals from sky, land, and water. People can connect with these animals through these pictures. But it's unfortunate because these precious animals are disappearing. So we need to love and protect them and learn about our planet Earth. When it comes to pictures, it's all about timing. These five Dalmatian pelicans pose for the perfect shot. The photographer had to get a little creative using a motorized camera to catch these open mouth grins. And when life gets hard, sometimes you just gotta hang on for dear life. Like this little red-eyed tree frog. With each drop of rain, his normally strong, sticky grip begins to lose hold. And in the wild, it's a fight for food and a fight for your life. Where there's a winner, there's also a loser. And in this case, a mother's unborn young is now a nutritious meal for this arctic fox. But such is a circle of life. This photographer really wanted to capture this shot, so he visited their habitats daily for six months. And one day, out of the blue, a fox came up and circled him, letting him finally take the picture. These pictures here were taken in the wild. Some take only one month, and some take years to capture. Not only that, but they're taken in extreme environments, like the scorching desert or freezing Antarctic, all while fighting off things like bugs and disease. To take visitors one step closer to the real thing, the exhibition also contains a virtual animal interaction simulator. Step into the forest and pet a tiger, or even teach a dolphin to wave. There's something that we grow up loving, but their existence is being threatened. From the open skies to the deep blue oceans, animals range in all shapes, sizes, and colors. And now it's up to us to keep it that way. Well, Yuni, uh, it definitely looks like you had some fun yourself. Mm -hmm. um, you know, these uh, photographs are incredible. I cannot believe uh, some photographers would spend just years, right. you know, just trying to get one shot. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, are there any animals that uh, these conservationists uh, would like to protect in Korea? Right, so here in Korea there are a few, such as the black Asiatic bear, also known as the moon bear. There's the Eurasian otter and the long-tailed goral. So there are uh, quite a few others, but you know people are really taking a step forward to conserve these animals here in Korea. Definitely a very important move and a mm -hmm. meaningful one as well. All right, thank you, Uni, for that report today, and we will speak to you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow.